Right guys, so I'm finally back with another unboxing video. And you know, sorry it's been a while since my last one. I just haven't really had much, you know, to unbox or anything. And I've been pretty busy, you know, filming matches. All I've uploaded for like the past few weeks is Instagram matches that I've done. Um, and I have been working on BFW WrestleMania. I've almost finished night one. I've just got a few more matches to film. And I've still got a couple more matches to announce. And once I've announced all the matches, I'll do a match card video. Because uh, I know some of you guys on here don't follow me on Instagram, so you won't really know. Uh, what matches I have planned for Mania. But yeah, enough talking about WrestleMania. Today, as you can see, we have AEW Unrivaled 6, and it's been a while uh, since we had an AEW sale. Last one was Wave 5 with Luchasaurus and everything, and that was a pretty decent wave. Uh, if I'm honest, I'm not really too excited for this wave. I'm mainly excited for maybe the Pentagon, but I've watched a few reviews, and even, you know, those figures have some issues. So Pentagon, updated Jericho, uh, Jake Hager, probably more than anyone. Uh, but yeah, some people have received chases, uh, in the early pre-order ones, and I was a pre-order one, uh, so maybe we'll get a one of three thousand Hager or one of five thousand Jericho, because the chases are a lot more easy to get now. And yeah, I would be more than happy to uh, get a chase instead of one of those. So let's go ahead and crack this big old box open. I'm not too confident because this box is quite small, uh, so I think all the figures will be quite compact, and they usually ship a chase uh, with a figure defender. So yeah, I'm not too confident we'll get a chase, but you know, you you never know, you never know. Down here, like this. Um, been waiting on this for like I don't know. They shipped a while ago now. Let's see, boom. And I don't think there's any chase, unfortunately, uh, by the looks of things. Uh, no defender or anything, but here we go. Yeah, it's usually just um. This is how they ship, you know, the regular figures. So. Let's see, here we have the normal Jericho, and yeah, I needed an updated Jericho with the updated skin tone, and yeah, I really do like this head scan, I think that looks really good, and it comes with an AW World title, which I'll probably just sell off, but yeah, this attire is very nice, um, and obviously I can just take the torso off easy, and put on another Jericho if I want another attire, so yeah, we'll leave Jericho there, and here we have Pentagon, definitely a really cool attire, uh, that everyone really seems to like. And man, that looks great. From Fight for the Fallen last year, I believe. Uh, yeah, as it says there. But yeah, the Wave 2 Pentagon was like my second figure of the year last year. So maybe this one uh, will make that top 10 list at the end of the year. And here we have Jake Hager in his ginger hair. I uh, wish it was the blonde. Not too um, sure how I feel about this yet. He doesn't have the wrist tape or the knee pads. Um, maybe I'll put on a Mattel head or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I am worried about the staining issue, so hopefully we don't get that on the hoodie, which I've seen is another common problem with this set. Um, wait a minute, is that another Jericho? What? <laughs> I've been sent two Jerichos. Who am I missing? Oh my god, are you joking? <laughs> I thought it was a chase for a second, but I've got two Jerichos. That is odd. I'm missing Sheeta. Well, wow, isn't that great? Well, I'll have to contact them about that. Um, so yeah, we've got another Jericho. So that's that. That's something. And here we have MJF. Um, I don't know if it'll be as good as his last release, but you never know. And here we have Phoenix, which is a weird one. He doesn't come with his open hands. He just has t four slapping hands, kind of. Uh, so that's weird, and I don't really, not a big fan of this attire, uh, but you know, it may, may, may be cool in hand. Um, so yeah, I didn't get a Shida, which was strange, uh, so I'll definitely have to message them about that. I mean, I wasn't fussed for Shida, but you know, I did pay for that, and I don't need two Jerichos, so. Yeah, here is Wave 6 minus Shida. Uh, that is strange. So yeah guys, that is uh, the quick unboxing. I'm going to obviously go ahead and open all these. I may do an Instagram live stream or a YouTube live stream of me opening these. Uh, I'm not too sure. Probably Instagram as usual. Um, but yeah, these look really cool. And actually, I'll message Ringside first in case they need me to send all these back and send me a new case. Um, but probably not. They'll probably just send me a shader maybe. Um, but yeah, that is, that is very strange. So guys, here is Wave 6 out of the packaging, and of course, no shader, I have emailed ringside, just waiting to hear back. Hopefully, uh, they send me one or something, and 
yeah, I did keep uh, one Jericho mock uh, just to see what happens with that. Uh, if they need me to send it back, I'll probably just uh, not bother with it, sell it, and then buy a shader if I want one. Uh, but I'm not that fussed with the shader, but I did order one, so yeah, I do kind of want it. Uh, but yeah, here is the full set, and this really surprised me because I had low expectations, and I pretty much like all the figures here. Uh, there are some minor issues, well, one major issue with the Hager, uh, who we'll start off with. As you can see, it's a common issue uh, with, it seems, everyone who's gotten this recently is the staining off the hoodie. Uh, it did have plastic around the arms, but some has still got through, and the head scan, you know, it isn't blonde like it was in the final picks, uh, so that is also annoying. So yeah, the shame we can't wear this hoodie anymore uh, just to risk the staining. Uh, so that is very disappointing, but other than that, I do think it's a pretty good figure, you know, it's very imposing, uh, whether it's accurate or not, I don't really care, uh, no knee pads, no wrist tape, um, but you know, it's a Jake Hager, it's pretty cool. And here is the Jericho, my first Jericho without, uh, with the new updated skin colour torso thing, and yeah, I do love this head scan a lot on this Jericho, uh, world title, which we've seen before. And yeah, I do like this attire. I definitely want to get another Jericho, even though I have a spare now, uh, which I'll probably sell. I will get another one when they arrive in the UK, maybe, uh, just for a little bit cheaper, so I can use the torso on my Series 1 Jericho. Then we have MGF, which I absolutely love. Uh, I think I might prefer it to his original, I don't know, because I really do like his first figure. And I actually have the, all the MGF figures now, because I do have the Chase as well, uh, from Series 2. And yeah, he does come with the uh, diamond ring, which is very cool, which I'll probably use in the Fed at some point. And yeah, really nice stuff, lovely clean attire. There's a very common theme with all these figures, you know, it's all very yellow, very gold, very black. Um, and yeah, here is Penta, probably figure of the set, as expected, as usual. Uh, just a very cool and clean gold and black attire. Tattoos look clean, uh, love the hands and everything. Uh, maybe could have come with a couple more hands, you know, just regular open hands. He did come with a black glove one, um, but none when he takes the glove off, so that's a bit strange. And then we have Phoenix, who didn't come with any open hands at all, which was annoying. And I wasn't really that excited for this figure, because it's a pretty boring attire. And I definitely think I prefer the Series 2 attire, as you can see here. But I do think the torsos are a little bit different. This one seems a lot more like, I don't know, this one seems a bit more glossy or something. Um, but yeah, it's a very cool set, and there are the accessories. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Sorry for no Shida. Uh, that was kind of out, out of my control. Uh, but other than that, I do dig this set. I think they're all in stock in Ringside, uh, which is a first for Ringside, not selling out for once. Uh, so yeah, definitely go check out any of these. Uh, but be informed, your, your Hager probably will come uh, stained like mine. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I will try to get more videos out this week, maybe a few, couple more unboxings. Uh, but I am just grinding away on WrestleMania. So hopefully that will be out uh, over the next month or so. Um, definitely night one at least if I, if I release that sooner. But yeah, more to come on that. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.